What goes up must come down, so let's get soldering. This looks really nice, but I'm going to add a support from here to here and probably another one from there as well, just to make it nice and stiff and prevent the wobble. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of slow-mo and see exactly where the ball comes off the end of the track and then I can know exactly where to start the next piece of track. This is really complicated now. I've got to get the depth right, I've got to get the height right, I've got to get the amount of twist, the amount of angle, and I've got to get everything in line this way. I've got to make sure that this part here misses this part here. And I've got to get the angle this way, and I've got to get the start point right so that when the ball comes down here, it flows over and onto the new track. So I think I'll put some copper on it. I'll put some brackets on it. I'm going to drill into this wood and have one, two, three, possibly four brackets. I want it really strong. I've put a temporary support across the top and I'm going to do this as I put more and more verticals in. I'm going to build a kind of top scaffolding exoskeleton thing that will be snipped off at the end 
when the verticals are all supported by the tracks because the tracks actually become very strong, they become part of the whole thing. But until I get enough tracks in there, I've got these big wobbly uprights and I want to keep them vertical. So I've measured it in all directions and just put this, I mean this is still wobbly at this end, but this one is now getting a bit more strong. So this will come off at the end, but you can see now I've got a um, nice bit of track, it's all the right level and yeah, it's beginning to look like a rolling for sculpture. So I'm calling this done in the sense that I've got a pickup system that works, I've got a ball up to the top system that works, and I've got a ball starting to roll down the sculpture that works as well. Like I said earlier on in the video, the tolerance of getting this to work as well as I have is really small. Here we have another little bit of slow-mo since I've put the receiving copper track on and you can literally see the ball come in and just how good the lining up is. I did end up with four copper supports and um, getting the track in exactly the right height and the right position and the right level is really important for the ball to flow nicely. And you can see in this shot actually that the track does go uphill a little bit to slow the ball down before it turns the corner. So from now on it's downhill all the way, I've got to do some decisions, I don't know what to do next. But I've got a whole big wide open space to make the decision, whether there'll be a switch or a serpentine or a loop loop or some vertical spirals or how many switches I'm going to do, I don't really know. this volume of space to fill. I've got all the way up to here to fill. I can't go too far back because of the linkage arms but I can now do a lot of thinking and come up with a plan and that's the next part of the job. Mm -hmm.